And yeah, I'm not going share today. I'm gonna go uh, HP because I wanted to. I wanted to do a 1014. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm gonna do a bit of uh, sheriff though. I haven't been on for a few days. My internet has become allergic to internet. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, oh. oh my god! Explosions. Yeah, that's over that's the, the boathouse. No, that's the dude shooting fireworks. They already uh, talked to him. Are they allowed to do that? <clears throat> uh, as long as they're on that little, if they're on that little, I or not a little island, but that little peninsula off of Marina, that's fine. I mean, they're way out in the open. If they just shoot over the sea, they're fine. I talked to a guy a couple days ago about that, and he was fine with it. So. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, yep, but I haven't done HP in a while, and you you know you probably remember I used to be HP all the time, and then the regulations came out, and I was like, well, I'll just switch to Sheriff for a while, and I've kind of gotten bored of Sheriff, so I'm going to do some HP. Yeah, same here. I'm going to do one video as Sheriff just to show off the Taurus, then I might do some PD. Those yeah, fireworks. I mean, I, I, I'm planning to do a stream later tonight. Um, so doing some HP, hopefully I can get a 1014 in, because I want to do the so far meme. <laughs> oh nice. Um what's your channel called? <laughs> oh come on, you should know it. Uh Shot Gaming. I'm the, I'm the guy that was giving you shit about the Yep, I was the guy giving you shit about shot the gaming. ride along you wanted. It's hard to uh determine voices sometimes they all just blend into one. <laughs> it, well, I mean I mean you know how it is but anyway. Um my my view of that video should be coming out tomorrow. Uh, oh, I'll I've, have to watch that then. Kinda, and I'm sure my viewers will yeah, as well. I've been doing my yeah, I've I've um I'm doing my OCRP video schedule. I'm doing it Mondays and Fridays. Um so it's kind of just not too much content. Oh nice. I need to uh, buy some new games. I'm doing only OCRP at the moment pretty much. <laughs> that's that's about what I've been doing on stream for the last 11 days um of, oh shit you know 11 weekdays i've been doing been doing ocrp i want to get car mechanic simulator because that seems like a really fun game yeah you can get some awesome mods for that i'd yeah, love to, to upgrade a gtr to i would it. my dream car gtr i'd love to mod <laughs> one of them yeah i need to if i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get the crown vic mod and and deck one of those out yeah that's pretty cool Right, anyway, man, right. I'll, uh... Oh, I'm gonna get on patrol. Yep, same here. So, guys, you're here right, first. Uh, Shock Gaming, go check it out on Twitch. Right, we are 108, and as you heard me say, my internet is absolutely appalling this week. That's why there's been no videos. Like, I couldn't upload... I couldn't even play to record videos. It was just that bad. And also, I am soaking wet. I've been uh, thinking of Selena Gomez. Just kidding, I got out of the bath. And that was the hottest bath I've ever had in my entire life. Like, seriously, I think I got heat stroke. So if the audio suddenly goes quiet, then... I don't know, call 999 or 911, depending on your country. I don't know, whatever. Right, anyway, we are 108. Uh, that is 162, but there, we did a uh, ride-along video together. And as you heard, he's bringing that out tomorrow, so you need to check that out, it's pretty awesome. I'll actually, um, I'll link in the description if I remember. But we are 108 and on patrol, so I need to call dispatch. And uh, let's just pull over to the side of the road so I don't crash. Actually, no, we need to log into the CAD and change our identifier, so I'm going to do that now. Okay guys, I've called in to dispatch, telling him we're 10 8. We're going down Nowhere Road to see if anything happens. Um, you may have noticed, I don't know if you did, that I turned off the um, bleeps and bloops and stuff on the radar. That's just, well, basically remember all the sound, re uh, sound activated, all that stuff. Yeah, it's annoying after a while. So I thought I'll turn that off. Uh, it also turns off the sound pack I have, and there is a way around it, but it takes 20 million years there or thereabouts. Like Seriously, it takes the piss. So, not going to do that for the time being. Um, I probably will get around to doing it eventually, but from what I've heard, it's very difficult and it doesn't always work. So, for the time being, you're going to have to use your common sense to work out. If I'm um, talking in, in the radio, I can't even English today. Um, to figure out if I'm talking in game, you guys may or may not know this. In the bottom corner, it says voice normal. When it's like that grey sort of monotone thing, that means I'm not talking in-game in to a person near me. 
If it goes blue, however, like now, it means I'm talking in game. So that blue means I'm talking to someone who stood next to me in game. It might make it easier for some of you guys to uh, understand, but just in case. They're going a bit fast, don't you think? How fast are you going, buddy? 60. 60 with purple underglow. Okay, we're catching up to this, dude. What was that? That was a banshee, I believe. Okay, sirens, lights, whatever. Just get past that, dude. Yeah, he's going quite quick. And he has purple underglow. A purple underglow? I really can't talk to him. Paul 131. Paul 131, go ahead. Alright, I'm gonna pull him over. Paul 131, seems to be 1098. Myself from 198, 1098. Let's see if he actually Three pulls over. And 458, 1098, both seems back tonight. San Andreas, Sam1, uh, Sam252. Sam252, go ahead. Show me on a 1050 northbound panorama. Nearest postal is 1020 on a, a chrome banshee with p pink underglow. That was a lot of information. I probably should have cut that down a little bit. Right, let's go have a word of him. I'm thinking. Sam252, I copy your 1050 northbound panorama. Near postal 1020 on a chrome banshee with pink underglow. 10 for. Yeah, I'm thinking a verbal warning for this guy. Paul 119 Metro. Show me 1098 from the MVA Laguna Place. Show me 10 8. Received. Kenny Sam 252. Can you run a 28 for me? 10 4, go ahead. 28 is going to be 98 Sam Victor Ida 051. That's 98 Sam Victor Ida 051. Sam 252, be advised, no return. 10 4. Good evening, sir. I'm Trooper Purton with the. Uh, sorry, I'm Officer Purton with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Uh, do you know why I pulled you over today? I'm not an officer or a trooper, just ignore that. Probably to harass me like the other cops do. Uh, not quite. Do you want to try again? <laughs> Probably to harass me just because you want to turn the lights on behind me. Five minutes. No, the reason I pulled you over is because I clocked you doing 60 miles an hour up um, Route 68. Is there any reason for that? Oh, uh, my cruise is set at 58. Uh, the speed limit's 50. So I was doing 8 over? Not too bad, I guess. Mm, no, you was doing 10 over because my radar clocked you at 60, so that's what I'm going to use. Alright, you should probably get that calibrated then. Is there any reason you set your cruise control intentionally over the speed limit? Seems like an odd thing to do, like, don't you think? Nope. Just that's where I felt like setting it. Well, that is still speeding. I set it at 120. I would highly not recommend that. This guy's well, there's no reason why I set it anyways, I'm just saying I could have set it at 120. Okay, can I have your license, registration, and proof of insurance on the vehicle? Let's see. Um, sure. There you go, man. My name's Johnny Longhorn. Okay, Mr. Longhorn, just wait here for one second. Not literally one second. If he drives off after a second, I will get him out of the car and shoot him in the eyeball. Right, let's... was it? Johnny Longhorn? Something like that. J-O-H? J-O-N? Uh, how do you spell it? I'm guessing J-O-H then. John, John, Johnny Longhorn. Send that. Uh, he's got a warning. Speeding. 1 to 9 over, that's nothing major. Johnny Longhorn. Man, I need a drink. He has a pistol. Um, there's nothing too extreme there. Actually, I'm going to try and run his plate in my system. Perhaps I read it out wrong to dispatch. 89 SVI. Because he had no return, according to dispatch. Nope, it's the. It's a chrome banshee. Okay, dispatch must have heard me wrong. So I'm not going to uh, mention that. No need for it. I see you already have a ticket for doing um, 1 to 9 miles per hour over. 
Yeah, that's because the cop wanted to be nice that day. Hmm. Well, would you look at that? I also fancy being nice. I'm going to give you a verbal warning. Nothing more than that. And as long as you, uh, we don't see you speeding again tonight, no further action will be taken. I'm just telling you to slow it down, keep it under the speed limit, and maybe put your cruise control a little lower, don't you think? Sam 223, Sam 4687. You say that again? I'll set my cruise where I want to set it. But if you're speeding, that is criminal offence. No, it's a uh, traffic light. No, Technically, you're still breaking the law. Charles tomato, tomato, all that shit. Criminal would be like six, if I got five, out of the smack, young, be criminal. Lima, uh, young Lincoln. Whatever, I'm not going to stand by the side of the road and argue. Just keep it slowed down. You're free to go when I get back to my vehicle. 1064, you return. Right. This guy's a jackass. I should shoot him. He hit that sign on the way out. I'm not gonna get him for that. Is this him on the side of the road here? Yes, it is. Ah, uh, let me guess. He's gonna claim I'm stalking him again. Sam four six eight received. What the hell is that? That seems like an odd car to be parked up, brother. Yeah, to 20, I should be in care now. Hmm, that is unusual, I admit, 20, but I have no reason to investigate it or run its plate or anything, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I am going to get gas, though. That's probably... I mean, we don't need much, but, yeah, 7 litres. Not really worth it, but, meh, I had to have some kind of reason to pull into the gas station. Better say petrol station then, but most of my viewers are American, so I'm gonna try and keep the um, keep using American terminology. Right, harmony. Anything going on in harmony while it's raining? I don't know. Rain brings out fish, brings out worms, might bring out criminals. I don't entirely know the logic behind that. How's our food and drink? Food and drink's fine. Right, let us um, let's just take a nice little cruise down 68. Really? I just clocked him again doing 53. Uh, what an ass. Here comes our friend again in the um, silver car. Hmm. Driving a little more sensibly now. I clocked him going northbound on this road, but he was doing 53. I mean, I could have pulled him over for that, but... He was already moaning about harassment. I really couldn't be asked to deal with it for three miles an hour. Like, seriously, it's just... It's, sometimes you just look at a situation and go, Nope, not worth it. Not gonna happen. But yeah, this is a pretty uh, pretty chilled um, spot for running radar. From the um, north, coming south bank, you cannot see me at all. Because that bush combined with this barrier, perfect height to cover me. Which is good. So I don't know, I think I might chill here for, uh, call it, I don't know, let's give it 10 minutes here, see if anything c kicks off, and then um, we can go out on patrol. Record to my location for this uh, big truck. I clocked that van doing a fair rate of speed then, 56. Sim four six eight. I don't know, four. didn't set off my thing, but uh, heavy tows I didn't think he was going to stop ETA then. Let's f let's have a look, see what he does. 56, not a massive thing. I'll probably just pull him over, give him a verbal warning. Come on, guy, move. Now down Alhambra. I mean, that's an interesting van, definitely. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pull him over, give him a verbal, I think. Oh, he pulled over straight away. Which is good. Always a good thing if they pull over straight away. Can I see that plate? No, of course I can't. Why would I? Uh, straw chaser? St is that an M or a W? Storm chaser. San Andreas, Sam 252. Sam 252, go ahead. Show me on a 1050 Eastbound Alhambra on a black van. 28 when ready. 
Say I'm 252, do you have a nearest postal? 10 4. Nearest postal is going to be. 1029. Received. Go ahead with your 28. 28 is going to be Sierra Tango Romeo Mike Charles Hotel Sierra Romeo. Storm Chase. Ten your turn. Ten four. Comes back on a black bravado rumpo. Rumpo. Correction. <laughs> rumpo. Arrow is a Rocky Phillips valve insurance no flag. Ten four. Thank you. So I am a sheriff, not a trooper or an officer. <laughs> Must remember that. Captain four three. Good evening, sir. I'm uh, Sheriff Purton with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Do you know why I pulled you over today? I really don't know, man. What's up? It's nothing too serious. It's just I clocked you doing 56 on uh, Panorama back there. Um, is there any reason you was going slightly over the speed limit? I kind of... I actually, to be honest with you, I lost track of how fast I was going, so I kind of slowed it down. I, I actually hit up to about 60, to be honest with you. So shoot, it's 50, so I brought it back down. Okay, no worries. It, it's one of those things that happens. I appreciate you being honest with me. Can I have your um, license, registration, proof of insurance on the vehicle, please? Yeah, sure thing. Here you go. Thank you very much. Can you uh, just confirm the name on that? Yeah, Rocky Phillips. Okay, Mr. Phillips, give me one moment. No worries. Ah, this guy's pleasant. This is going to make the uh, verbal warning seem um, more fitting. Uh, wrong thing. Don't want to open the menu. It is Rocky Phillips. Unusual name. That's quite cool. Brock. <laughs> yeah, Brock. Never met someone called Brock in my life. Okay. Oh, that was cops. That sounded like some guy's racing then. Jesus. Right, Rocky Phillips. You have no weapons. No citations, no warnings. Born 1988, age 30. Yep, yeah, that all seems fine to me. <laughs> They've got someone in the in custody. Okay, Mr. Phillips, that is one of the cleanest records I've ever seen. Um, I do appreciate you being honest. So the way I'm way I'm going to deal with this. Just going to give you a verbal warning, tell you to uh, keep it slightly slowed down, maybe to the speed limit. I think that sounds reasonable. Yeah, no worries. That's what I was trying to do anyway. Okay, Mr. Phillips, no worries. Um, as I said, just keep it slowed down and uh, you have a lovely day now. Once I get back to my vehicle, you are free to go. Thanks, man. Have a good day. No worries. You too, man. He was pleasant. Pleasant Mr. Phillips. Unlike the other Phillips in this game, obviously. Right, let's, um, hmm, should we run more radar, or should we go out actively looking for, or just patrolling, basically? I think we should do some patrolling, see if we can get into anything. Okay, guys, we're going to do something we wouldn't normally do. We're going to head out westbound, long 68, and the reason for that is because we had a community meeting the other day, and some very valid points were brought up. One of them is that there are a lot of sheriffs and all of them seem to hang around in the same sort of areas, you know, Joshua, Panorama, sometimes going to Grapeseed, and uh, it just makes it repetitive over there. So we're going to head westbound away from um, civilization. It's still in our jurisdiction, so we're fine. But, uh, yeah, it's hard to explain, but the reason so many sheriffs stay in that area, and even Highway Patrol go there, is simply because more people go there so civs go there to create trouble so there's more civs there so more cops go there and it's just an infinite loop so we're trying to break that loop now so i'm just going to head over westbound a bit more see if we can run into anything another valid point that got brought up uh you remember a few episodes ago i said that i'm not doing civilian anymore and the reason for that is because basically OCRP is not a situation server, it's a life server, and the difference between that is that in a situation server, you can either be a cop or a civilian, and then you create the scenario, see how it ends like DOJ, and then you just go back and create another situation that's different. This is not like that. 
this does not follow situations it follows your life so each video is me on my daily patrol as uh, officer Nick Purton so because of that in real life you don't get sheriffs going out and committing bank robberies in their spare time they just don't do it at least they shouldn't so in OCRP it's the same we, we can't do that so I was given a choice I can either be a civilian and then go out committing crimes do whatever I want to do or I can be a cop and try and catch those people and honestly I just get more enjoyment out of being a police officer than being a criminal it doesn't mean I can't still do civ stuff I can still go out and ride a bike I can go for a hike up Chiliad if I wanted I can uh, get another job like in my spare time I could be a fisherman or a miner earn some extra money but I can't commit crimes that's the only thing I can't do like if you guys want to see me go out and get a job then I'm fine with that but I can't go out and rob a bank so there's a big difference and I know some of you will be disappointed with that maybe in the future we can create like alternative profiles when we're a cop when we're an LEO uh, a criminal but the reason we can't at the moment in it's very pertinent because there are things in the server which one side should know about the other shouldn't like criminals should know one thing but cops shouldn't and vice versa uh, an example would be drugs in this server you can go and get drugs if you're a civilian but if I went off duty went as a different criminal and when I got drugs I'd know where to get the drugs from so if I jump back on as a cop I could theoretically just go to the drug house and bust it and it'd make me look good but it would be kind of like fail because there's no way I could actually know where that is being a cop wow major frame lag there so it's it's a tricky decision but it's been decided that you can only be one or the other I'm not saying that if I was to go out and be a criminal for the day the next day I'd go and bust drug houses and bank robberies but there's always that element of human nature and even if you don't mean to you can break fail RP like you can drive along see a car suspicious and stop it purely because you know there's a drug house around the corner and then that would be your line of questioning and that just breaks RP so the best way to get around that is to keep the two separate so the only way I can ever go into a drug house is if we as the police legitimately find out where a drug house is and raid it so it is sad I do like doing criminal episodes it certainly is fun but there's just no way I can really do it without breaking RP so and that applies to everyone no one can do both and people have got in trouble for it including myself I'll admit I didn't I misunderstood what the rules were when I was creating those criminal episodes and I've had a word with uh, Tyler one of our heads and I decided to be an LEO because I just enjoy it more and it, it is sad I would like to see in the future the ability to be criminal and that's not to say I will never ever do criminal ever again I can in like a month or so just retire and um, turn around and say yeah I, I want to be a criminal for a month then I could do a month for criminal and then I could rejoin the police but I can't just <laughs> I can't just go back and forth it's like oh, I've done that scenario now I want to do this one and this that was a cop this one's Elio it don't work like that or oh, that one's a cop this one's criminal that's what I meant to say so yeah there's gonna be no more criminal episodes for the foreseeable future maybe in the future I will switch back to being a criminal but then if that if and when that happens there will be no cop videos so it is a bit tricky I would like to get to the point one day where I could do a month of cop then do a month of criminal and sort of um, have like a safety buffer of a month so I could just release videos alternating but it doesn't really work like that so in the real world not happening anytime soon but I hope you guys do understand. I know there are a lot of OCRP members that subscribe to me and watch my videos and I know they'll understand but it is hard to explain why there's a lot of little things that go into that decision but yeah the essence is I won't be doing criminal videos any longer for the foreseeable future and now I've got that off my chest we are in the middle of nowhere like literally where the hell are we? I think we're by Hookies is it Hookies this bar up here? Uh, yeah, hookies. 
Um, should we continue north or... I, I reckon we should continue north, then go back down the 1, or the 13, sorry, to Grapeseed. Because that would be quite a nice drive to end the video on, I think. And if we get into something, then great. If not, then at least I've explained some important stuff. We have had a few pullovers. Oh, I was going to pit him then. You asshole. Like, seriously, AI. You move over for one sec and they just take your space. Like, really? The most annoying thing is trailers. Anyone who's been a truck driver in this game will understand that. Let's just say that AI does not know this guy's trailer exists. I just had 71 ping up on my radar. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? I'm gonna check if it was AI. Yeah, it was. God damn it. That sucks. Also, something cool I wanted to show you. Josh W was in prison for 1,800 seconds. That is... Is that half hour? That is... <laughs> this dude's in prison for half hour, real time. Not GTA time, real time. Seriously, this is, as I said, this is a very serious server. That dude now has to sit there for half an hour. Like, that's just... that's mad. And every time he tries to leave his cell... Nope, he just gets teleported right back to where he was. Like talk about wasting time. I, I don't know, I think the punishments are a little strict. There needs to be some kind of curve to it, not just a linear, add them all together. But then, equally, the maths would be a lot more complicated. Dudes, like, seven miles per hour. Oh, screw this. I know I'm a cop and this is highly dangerous, but I'm not going seven miles an hour. That's ridiculous. Right, we need to reset our radar. Ah, oh, that that key binding, I am really not happy about that. But yeah, it is a <laughs> very serious server. Josh Josh W, I feel your pain, man. Longest I've been in jail for is, I think, 11.7 sec uh, minutes. 11.7, no, it was... It was 11 minutes something. I don't know, it was quite a while back. Paul 119, Paul 119, go ahead. We've got a chase. Sandrate Avenue is going to be right, right, right. On to uh, southbound Supply Street. It's going to be Banshee with purple in the glow. Banshee with purple in the glow. 131, we're up. Paul 119, I copy. Audience be advised, channel help for emergency traffic. Active 1031 for Paul 119. There's a, Supply Street, left, left, left. There's a chase going on, going dude. There's a chase going on with that Banshee we had earlier. Here comes Continuing the emergency tone. Banshee with purple in the glow. The original stop was because um, he rendered me a traffic light until and didn't stop at that moment in time. He's now <laughs> taking off. Received. Where is he? I want to know which way he's going so I can either head back. East Capitol Boulevard. East Capitol Boulevard. East. Right, he's probably going to try and lose them in the city. But I'm going to head this way in case he goes to... South El Rancho Boulevard. Southbound. In case he goes north up to the county, I want to be... South Innocence Boulevard. South on Innocence. Trucks do not listen to sirens. What was that dude's details? It was something Longhorn. Was it? No, not. Yeah, it was Johnny Longhorn. Yeah, his name was Johnny Longhorn. I'm gonna check that, but his name was Johnny Longhorn. This dude's reckless. Wrong, wrong side of the road near Grove Street. He's getting more reckless. I need to call dispatch and let them know who it is. But I'll do that once he stops. Or if he gets away. Would be better, I suppose. Because they'll get his details if he stops. Northbound Strawberry. Northbound Strawberry from Form. Let's just see how this ends. He's found innocence. He is properly <laughs> weaving in the... Get off my ass, dude. He's Northbound really weaving Davis. through lanes and roads Northbound and side Davis streets. Northbound on Strawberry. He's North coming towards us now, northbound Strawberry. We might be able to intercept him. We are in highway territory. Oh no, he turned off. We are on highway territory, but we can still patrol here. We just have to call a highway to help stop it. Southbound Elgin. I'm gonna uh, uh, be advised it's gonna be a loss at this moment in time. 
Audience be advised, channel 1 is now clear. Audience resume normal RTO. Dispatch clear 1655. Can you sound 252? Go ahead. I have the um, details of that driver if you need them, of the 1031. 104, go ahead, 43. Uh, I have his name, it was Johnny Longhorn. Received Johnny Longhorn. 104. He has Paul been stopped. Ooh, my Received bad. Paul 119. Go for 119. I have the description of the vehicle one more time, we'll put it up all though. 78 on the rear. Be a grayish that was quite fast. Banshee with a black it was that white oil. car. It's going to have purple underglow on the vehicle. I want to catch up to this dude, see if it was a real um, a real person or an alpha rider. A local, sorry. I copy. Need to a stop saying AI. And chrome Banshee with a black high spoiler with purple underglow. Yep, yeah, that's the car we saw. Uh, Metro uh, 119, my vehicle's gonna be right up. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah, chasing him without a driver's door. Is this a person? I oh, know, I doubt it. No, AI. God damn it, AI. Really, dude? Really? You just went past him? Okay, whatever. Locals will be locals. Okay, guys, I've sat here for. 10, well, probably just under 10 minutes, so I think it is time to call it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I had quite a lot to say in this episode, so it's quite a lot of me talking. Appreciate that's not exactly the best to listen to, but do you like this new skin on this sheriff car? I like it. I like the new car itself, so that bobcat <laughs> sounded quite loud then. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode where I'm probably going to play as PD and I will see you then. Peace out, guys.